Next here we are at the Laurel built by Toll Brothers. This is a 2,800 square foot, one story home. It's a five bedroom, three bath with a three car garage. We got some rain on the way guys, so I wanna go ahead and let's run inside and take a look at the inside of this place. Here we are now outside of the rain guys. You can see this nice, the different style hardy board that they do have, the siding, these slats like this. This is so cool. It gives the home just so much more character. And then as it rips, wraps around, you got your regular, you know, um, horizontal siding here on the side of the home. And come on, Dips, let's take a look at this nice, beautiful eight foot blue door. Doesn't that just pop out? Hey, in the comments below, guys, let me know if you like this blue door or if you would like it to be a different color. I'm curious. Let's go inside. Hey guys, here we are. Beautiful. So this has blue tape all over it, right? Because they're doing some punch out work in here. And the reason why they have this blue tape everywhere is because this is where all the imperfections are, right? Like there's a little nick on the wall right here. Nothing big just cosmetic stuff, right? So from all the different workers coming in here, contractors and whatnot, you know, they get little nicks on the wall, on your baseboards, on your door. This right here, a little bit of paint is right here, okay? And it just needs to be cleaned off. I mean, I can actually do it with my fingernail a little bit, right? So it's just little cosmetic stuff. But let's go ahead and, well, one the one back up really quick, the one thing I do wanna say is I love how wide this foyer is, and this hall is like this all the way down. This is beautiful. It just makes you feel so spacious and a lot larger than what it is. And guys, keep in mind, we do have 10 foot ceilings in here with eight foot doors everywhere. All our interior and exterior doors, as you can see here, are eight foot. And this does have a transom window up above it. Let's go this way and we'll walk into bedroom number one over here. All right, so yeah, this is a spacious room here. There's no recessed cans in the ceiling, so it's a little dark right now, all right? And it is speckled with blue stuff. Like I said, this is very common. Nice size room though, same flooring flowing into here. And then we're gonna walk into the bedroom or the bathroom here. This is an actual Jack and Jill, okay? Double vanities, okay? You have your toilet here with an operable window up above it. And you have a shower bath here, okay? With the tile going all the way to the ceiling with a 70-30 offset brick pattern, looks wonderful. We'll carry on down through here though, and this is going into the bedroom number two here, okay? So these two bedrooms, this is why they call that a Jack and Jill, because that bathroom is splitting two bedrooms, right? So they share that, hence the name Jack and Jill. Nice size bedroom here. We have a window back there, your closet over here. As you can see, there's still some work that they're doing, some drywall punch out stuff. And this carries on out into the actual foyer. And as we come through this way, this goes into a big open family room, dining room, kitchen. Wow, that kitchen looks amazing. Before we get there, I wanna show this to you guys. This nice, beautiful tray ceiling, which is 11 feet up there at the very top because we have a 10 foot ceiling height. And then it goes up another foot basically to the top of this tray ceiling. We have our windows there, nice spacious area. This is all overlooking a conservation area in the back so you never have to worry about anybody building directly behind you. And we do have these nice eight foot three panel doors here. This is a 12 foot opening. These are very nice sliding glass doors, very smooth, they're heavy, but they move very freely and easily. All right, and as we look over here, this is a huge island, oversized island with three beautiful pendant lights hanging right over it. You can sit easily four people right here. The quartz, this is one of my favorite quartz countertops here. I love this, this um, specific one here and I forget the name of it. If any of you guys do know the name of this, please drop the comments below. I'd like to know if you guys do know what that is. So this is different and the cabinets are a different color than the cabinets that are on your wall back here. And the top is a different color than what these tops are. They are both quartz though, okay? 
Now this is where your refrigerator is going to go. Okay, and you have a refrigerator cabinet up here, which is 24 inches deep. You have your two panels going down the side. That way it gives that refrigerator that built-in look. As we come over here, we do have our microwave. Okay, all Whirlpool appliance package, by the way, here. Okay, we have our oven here. 42 inch upper cabinets with crown molding up top and the light rail molding down here for your under cabinet lights, okay? We do have a KitchenAid 36 inch five burner cooktop here with a vent hood that vents completely outside of the house. So if you are cooking with a lot of spices and whatnot, you know, you don't have to worry about that smell being stuck in your home. And this backsplash, honestly, I've never seen it before. And I love it. It looks absolutely amazing. We have an undermounted sink here, just one sink. So there's, it doesn't have, it's not sectioned off with a nice Kohler faucet here, which has very good pressure like that. Our dishwasher over here. It's a very nice kitchen with tons of storage. I mean, you have this drawer stack here, nice drawers with the soft clothes, as you can see, right? You have two drawers underneath the actual cooktop and you have another drawer bank over here, which is very, very nice. And then over here, we have a, a little area, which is kind of like a vanity height. Okay, like a little desk area where you can have a chair, your computer and stuff set up over here. And then we have our walk-in pantry right here. As we go this way here, we will go through these double doors. And this is going into your flex space, your home office, whatever you want this to be. It has three nice windows in here, two looking out the back of the house, which is facing west. We have one right here, which is facing on right onto the back porch here also. But this is a nice flex space, office, whatever you want to use it for, you can use it for. If you want it to be a little private dining area, you can use it for that also. Okay, so we're going to back on up and we're going to go over here to your right. Okay, and this is going into the master bedroom. We have three nice size windows right off the bat facing the back of the home, which you can overlook the whole conservation area over there. Let's in a lot of light. We have our tray ceilings up here with four recessed cans, pre-wired for your fan up here also. Very nice. I love the five and a quarter inch baseboard that they have here with the shoe molding already on there. Very nice. And as we come in here, this is the actual master bath. So. The tub's not all the way installed all already, but hey, this kind of gives you an idea how this stuff goes, right? So you can see here, this is the shell of the tub. This tub's gonna set in, and this is one of those freestanding tubs that you're gonna see right here with this beautiful picture window right behind you. We do have double vanities in here, one over here, one over there, white shaker style cabinets with the quartz tops, absolutely beautiful. As you walk in here and you turn this way, you can see the nice walk-in closet. And then we have a, right next to that, we have our nice walk-in shower with the frameless glass. Tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. And then we have our water closet over here to the left. Very nice. It's gonna look great when it's all done. And then as we walk out this way, we're gonna walk back around into the foyer We have our laundry room right here to the right. We have a full bath over here to your left with the nice quartz tops. Tile work going and this walk-in shower goes all the way up to the ceiling. And then as we come back here, we have our linen closet. We have our third bedroom back here. Fourth bedroom, counting the master that we've already went into. This is a, you know, it's a smaller bedroom. You have one window over here, but it does have its own walk-in closet, which is really nice. Very, very nice. 
And as we walk out of here, we have another bedroom, which would be bedroom number five. Smaller bedroom, like we were just in, as bedroom number four, has one window here, has your closet right there with sliding doors on there, which is nice. It's obviously way better than the, the uh, bifold doors. And then as you come this way, this is where your drop zone is gonna be, okay? And this door right here goes right out to your garage. And as you can see, this, this is a three car garage, okay? And it has the epoxy flooring already down in here, which is a big, big plus. Very nice. And you can actually see the Tesla box right here. This is the Tesla inverter, okay? For the actual solar that's on this home. guys so that's going to finish up the tour today here the laurel built by toll brothers here in st cloud florida and if you guys are looking to either sell buy relocate invest or you want a new home built please don't hesitate to contact me my direct sell number is 407-314-6969 and also all my contact info is below let me tell you something if there's anything that you guys do want to see me do more of or something you would like me to add, okay? For example, like community tours onto this channel, please comment below, okay? It really helps us out and I really love to get feedback, you know, from all you guys so I know what to add, you know, to our videos. And also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with all your friends and family. It means a lot to us. Thank you so much, guys, and you have a wonderful day.